And I, I don't have my bottom teeth in. Hold on one second. <laughs> Oh shit. Damn, where did I put that? <laughs> so guys, there it is. Okay, sorry about that little intro there. I didn't have my bottom teeth in. It would look kind of funny if you saw my bottom implant sticking out. All right, tear down, didn't go so good. Let me tell you why. What is, what is this, part four already? All right. So, first of all, it was a bitch to get the Kenda off. Um, I figured it out and got it off. And Shinko was a bitch to put on. It. We're not done yet. Let me tell you why. Uh, the tube, I put the tube in there first slightly inflated and then i put it over and then i'm trying to get the shinko over the tire whether that's the right way to do it or not i'm not too sure but obviously it wasn't feeling the right way so i was attempting to take the shinko back off and take out the inner tube and then put the tire back on well anyways the inner tube is pinched now and i did buy a couple of extra inner tubes but here's the problem guys here's the problem it's the right size it's not bent the valve isn't bent so the way that will stick out from the rim you will not be able to pump it up it will stick way up here and there's no way to get air in so silly me went out to find some uh, tubes and put this project on pause. So I just cleaned up a little bit in here. I, I moved this table uh, this way instead of over here. So we got it all cleaned up. And I think we can continue probably, I'm gonna say Saturday or Sunday the latest uh, when I get the inner tubes. Right now, I was just looking on Amazon to see if they had the our inner tubes and I can't find them with the bent valve. So this is what we have for right now. I'm gonna put the batteries inside so they're not inside this uh, not climate controlled shed. And I, like I said, I'm sorry, it's a mess. <laughs> uh, so it's on pause now and that's where we are right now. Thank you everybody for watching. Have a good one.